has made us partakers of his heavenly glory, not in the life that is to come. Now, you should say that where you're at right now. I am a partaker of the glory of God. Verse 31, what shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who could ever be against us? Say that out loud. God is for me. No one can be against me. Key verse. Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us, won't he also give us everything else? The Bible says, if God didn't even spare his own son for our behalf, then why would you ever think that he would withhold anything else? You have to understand that God is not looking to withhold anything. The great British evangelist Smith Wigglesworth said, there is something about faith that will cause God to pass over a million people just to get to you. God doesn't go around arbitrarily meeting people's needs. God is moved by faith. What's faith? Believing him. Hebrews eleven six. Anyone that wants to come to him must believe that he is. You have to believe that God is the God of the Bible. Not the God of American religion. The almighty God of the Bible. Who he said he is. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Jireh. He didn't say I'm God and I'm okay with prosperity. He said I am Jehovah Jireh. The Lord that provides all your material needs. I am El Shaddai. The God of more than enough. Abraham, you serve me and you'll never have to go to any of these Philistines for anything. You won't ever borrow money from them. You'll only lend money to them. You must believe that he is. And if you would just get the names of God, you would know who he is. I am Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, your healer. My name is healing. Must believe that he is. And equally important, must believe that he is a rewarder. Not he can reward. Not he might reward. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him.